Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. You're here with Rooting Mindfully, a place where simplicity and mindfulness meet. As you know, I did go ahead and change my, my channel name. I did this just because of the direction that my channel is heading towards. And I also did go ahead and change it on Instagram, so that way everything can be more cohesive. I hope this didn't create any confusion, but I just wanted to put that out there just in case anyone had any questions or was a little bit confused. Also, a note of tidiness, I just wanted to go ahead and start something new on my channel. I want to go ahead and share some planty love and, you know, just show, that, show my subscribers that I do appreciate you know they're watching my videos and taking the time to comment and just leave great feedback on my channel uh, I do I am so happy for everyone that subscribed and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel you don't know how much that means to me but I just wanted to tell you guys that I want to start something new on my channel where I'm shouting out uh, the top comment on my ch you know any of my videos that was left before I go ahead and create my new video so for today's top comment, it comes from LKA, and I just want to read you guys her comment, and so that way you, we can go ahead and shout out people who are being awesome in our community. So her comment reads, your plant collection and home decor is just breathtaking. Everything looks to be so healthy and thriving. Just subscribe to your channel and looking forward to catching up on your other videos. I'm shocked that you don't have more people subscribed to your channel, but I'm confident just as I am now discovering it, more people will discover your gen. Greetings from the Netherlands. So I'm so excited that someone from the Netherlands is watching my channel. I never thought that that would happen, but that is so cool and I so appreciate her comment. But just so you know, I will be doing this going forward. I just I love talking to you guys and I want to show you how much I appreciate you. So that I just wanted to let you know that that's what will be happening. So further ado, I'm going to talk about my favorite top five common house plants. And this was um, inspired by Christian from Crazy Plant Guy. He challenged some of us in the, or most of us in the plant community to go ahead and talk about our common house plants to give them more appreciation and love. And you know, since I'm not buying house plants right now, I am, you know, appreciating the plants that I have. And I just want to let you guys know which ones are my top five. So all these top five plants that I'm going to show you can be found in big box stores, just so it makes it more simple for you guys so you don't have to buy it online or you know things like that you can just go to your local Home Depot or Lowe's and you can find these plants so number one is my money tree if you guys watch my houseplant tour I have two of these this is my single stump one I also have a braided but this is just such a beautiful plant these plants are known to bring you know good luck and fortune into your home and I just love the way that the leaves come in. If you give them optimum light, I currently have this one sitting on my patio. The leaves get huge, massive. And for just this to be such a small plant, I just, I'm really loving how big the leaves can get. You guys know I love plants with big leaves. So this is what draws me towards the money tree. As well as, you know, you go on Instagram, you just see those gorgeous money trees that people have. And I just, one day, I hope mine gets to be that big. And not only that, this plant is probably like $10 at a big box store. So that also makes it a good pick for my number one. Number two, y'all know I love aglionemas. I probably have about six aglionemas in my collection. I do want to get three more, but we're going to have to wait on that. This is a Sparkling Sarah aglionema, one of my favorites for sure. I just love the pink that are in these leaves as well as the pink stems. You can never have too much pink in your collection. And if you see my house plant tour, you guys know I don't have a lot of color. I have a lot of neutrals, a lot of creams. And so when I put, bring in these plants, I do like to have pink as my accent color. Not only that, but this plant only requires me to water about once a week. And I never get a yellow leaf on this plant, ever. It always just gives me new growth and it doesn't take anything else from me. 
Number three, we are going to talk about the rubber tree. I have three different kinds of rubber trees. This is the Taniki. I have the Ruby and the Burgundy as well. And I really want that green to round out my collection and then I will be satisfied. But the rubber tree is just such a nice plant. It's just structurally beautiful. Um, I'm thinking about notching mine in the future so that way I can get more branches. But I love the leaves on this plant. The design is just like a work of art. I just, I love everything about it. And if you can see, this one was outside. Look how big these leaves have gotten. It's just so crazy that the leaves can get to be that huge. I can't believe it. But this plant is just so easy to take care of. The only thing I do is water it. And I repot it. I think I've had to repot it three times now because it just keeps growing so fast. And every time I turn around, the roots are growing on top of the soil. So I, I need to get a deeper pot for it. It's in a really shallow pot, but this plant is constantly growing, constantly giving me new leaves. I think it gives me new leaves like one every two weeks because when I received it, it was about like this tall. So it has grown quite a bit. And I do have a new leaf here that hasn't really hardened off yet, as well as it's always got a bud coming right after. The fourth plant, you guys will not be, <laughs> you won't be shocked to hear what this plant is. It is my Monstera. And you know how big my Monstera is, so I'm not able to bring it on camera, but I will insert a picture. So So that way you can see what my monster looks like. My monster is massive. It's in a 20 inch pot. And I think when I got it, it was probably in like a six inch pot or so. But that monster has traveled with me everywhere. I think I've had it for about two or three years now. It is my baby. I will never give it up. I, I, I even get sick thinking about cutting. But it is just my favorite plant of all time. Monstera is going to always be on my list. It's always my favorite plant. It's the one that I don't really have to worry about. I just water it, give it light, and it does its thing. It grows massive. My fifth plant is the Syndapsis. This one, I'm, I have about four varieties of Syndapsis, I think. But I'm going to include the Enzotica in this video. Again, this plant is kind of in a big pot. I think it's in a 12 inch pot and it's really heavy. So I'm just going to insert a picture. You guys can see what my Exotica looks like. I love how big the leaves can get on the Exotica. It is just so beautiful. And the Syndapsis are so easy. They just, they will tell you what how much water or when to water when the leaves start to curl I try not to let it get to that point but if you're a newbie or a beginner or if you just wait for the leaves to curl and then that's when you can go ahead and water that plant but I just love how the plant can get huge I often um, when the plant starts to trail I will go ahead and stick the stems back in the pot just to fluff it out and make it look fuller and this is what I often do with all of my syndapsis and my trailing philodendron just so I can get that full look. And that is just why it's one of my favorite common plants. I love all of the varieties um, and they just really make me happy. But I will always buy syndapsis if I can find one. I try not to buy, you know, two or more of the same plant. For some reason when I see syndapsis sometimes I can't help myself. So yeah, those are my top five favorite common house plants. If you guys have any common house plants, make sure to leave them in the comments. I want to see if you guys have any different ones, if you guys have the same. As you know, I didn't name some of the typical ones like the snake plants, the ZZ, the pothos. Um, but those are also common house plants as well. So let me know if you guys have any common house plants. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I hope you you know love the content that I'm putting out I tend to I want to put out some more DIYs very soon I am gonna put out another video this week but please subscribe to my channel for more and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye